When that big space TV show came out in 78, the first thing that struck me was the diversity of spaceship types. There were passenger liners, cargo haulers, and ships you couldn't figure out what they did. Also, the ships weren't made just from tank model parts. One ship was made from film reels. Another cargo ship had train cars glued on the outside. I was inspired to try and make my own science fiction spaceship models. I spotted a sci-fi magazine cover with an illustration of a spaceship by John Berkey. It looked like a naval ship with a bridge superstructure, but the bridge was on both the top and bottom. That made complete sense. In space, there is no up. Four Lindbergh 1350 scale Tirpitz battleship models would be the foundation of my Calliston battlecruiser. I removed a little off the front and rear portion of each deck and glued them edge to edge in a box shape. For more detail, I cut small pieces of sheet styrene into tiny squares and glued them on the decks. Two bridge superstructures were glued to both the top and bottom deck. Each turret is made from two, glued together bottom to bottom. Aluminum tubes create the barrels. The turrets were then connected to the linkage that came with the kits. This allows them to move back and forth. The nose of the ship is a 1 1 44th scale Saturn V second stage motor cone attached to a shortened Saturn V first stage fairing. Portholes are lit by grain of wheat bulbs. The antennas are Space 1999 Eagle and 148 scale LEM landing pad. Braking rockets are Saturn V third stage motors attached to Space 1999 Eagle parts. These are also illuminated by grain of wheat bulbs. Bow turrets are from a 172nd scale B-29. Two of the smokestack assemblies were put on each side of the ship to support the shields. I used bent plex rods and half round plex domes for piping detail. For the shields, I envisioned some sort of lightweight foamed metal plating. These are made from sheet styrene that was scribed and pinhole rivets added. Although in this scale, the rivets are the size of basketballs. The shields are mounted to both sides of the ship with the Space 1999 Eagle main frames. The tiny shuttle is a Tirpitz machine gun turret attached to a 1 1 44th scale B-29 nacelle. The astronaut is scratch built and stands about 3 16ths of an inch high. The stern consists of two 148th scale lunar excursion model bottom stages surrounding the five Saturn V first stage motors, lit by, you guessed it, grain of wheat bulbs. Six 1 144th scale space shuttle cargo bays detailed with more Space 1990 Eagle parts attach the motor assembly to the ship. The completed model is 30 inches long. Well, that was the end of the ship and of this video. The end.